Welcome to another video from the learning and development team here at Enphase. The following video provides troubleshooting steps to help you if an IQ system controller stops reporting after operating normally. The first thing you'll need to do is use the installer portal and check the system controller's last reported timestamp. The IQ system controller will always provide the date and time of the last report in the Enphase installer portal and installer app. To view this information in the Enphase installer portal, log in and search for the affected site. Once you have selected the site, click Devices. Check the last report date from the IQ system controller section. Compare it against the IQ gateway and IQ battery's last report dates. If the IQ system controller's last report date does not match the other devices, you will need to verify that the IQ system controller is the only unit that has stopped reporting. Check all of the data in the IQ Gateway and IQ Battery sections. If the IQ System Controller's Operation Mode column on the left shows a status of Grid Mode Unknown, contact Customer Support for further instructions. If the IQ System Controller is the only unit that has stopped reporting, you will need to troubleshoot the device while on-site. When you are on-site, check the IQ System Controller's last report time in the Enphase Installer app. To do so, Log in to your app and search for the affected site. Once you have selected the site, navigate to the Devices and Arrays step. Then, tap IQ System Controller and look for the Last Report section. You can view the last time the IQ System Controller reported to confirm that the device hasn't reported recently. Before troubleshooting, verify that the IQ Gateway is powered on by checking the LEDs. If the IQ Gateway is not on, check the breaker and turn off. Then turn on again. Once the gateway boots up, wait a few minutes for the Zippy signal to establish a connection with the devices, and then check the last report date again for the system controller using the installer app. If the IQ gateway LEDs are illuminated and only the IQ system controller is not reporting to the IQ gateway, continue with the following troubleshooting steps. If the Zippy stick is still in the black casing, open the case using a T10 bit. Then, remove the green Zigbee stick inside and connect it directly to an IQ Gateway USB port. Make sure the USB stick lights up with the blue LED, indicating that it has power from the USB port. Once the device has power, check to see if the Bluetooth signal from the IQ system controller is broadcasting or not. For instructions on how to check the Bluetooth signal using the DigiXB app, click the training video link in the video description below. Once you have confirmed that the Bluetooth signal is broadcasting, you will need to power cycle the IQ system controller. To watch video instructions on how to power cycle the IQ system controller, check out our training video linked in the video description below. After power cycling, verify whether the IQ system controller is reporting. If the device is now reporting, great. The issue has been resolved. If the issue persists, try retiring and reprovisioning the IQ system controller using the Enphase installer app. If the issue persists after retiring and reprovisioning, contact customer support for further instructions. We hope this video helped you troubleshoot the IQ system controller when it fails to report. Thanks for watching.